Welcome everyone to another bout of excitement in the Hero Indian Super League seventh season. The incentive for Jamshedpur is a place in the season-ending playoffs for what would be the first time for FC Goa. They want to claim their first title after two defeats in the final. It's a 4-2-3-1 formation lined up like this. Four two three one. So there's a good feeling, I think, about this game as Edu leads out the uh, FC uh, Goa side. They're still featuring orange in this strip, orange and uh, black. They are known as the Goas. Last time that they lost three games in a row was the season that they finished bottom of the table. They will not want to repeat to that. It starts right here at the Tilak for them tonight. Peter Hartley leads out uh, Jamshed, but for me, probably the outstanding leader of a side that we've seen this season. Yeah, he's been strong, he's been physical, him and Ize have really worked well with that partnership that they've got at the back. The two big men can cause problems at the other end as well. Uh, the home team uh, in this game, that's the way it's designated, they are in blue and uh, FC Goa are in uh, orange and black. Straight away, Valskis uh, in for a header, but the flag's raised. Brandon Fernandez. He's going to go for goal, I think, here. It is Brandon. He curls it, but he curls it just wide of the frame of the net. You could see he didn't want to lash at it. He wanted to take his time and pick the optimum moment to pull the trigger. No! Off! Oh, it's a strike, and Eze, the big fella from Nigeria, has come up with his second goal here at the shipyard end. And Monroy's floated it perfectly, and Gorge just hesitated fractionally trying to deal with that. 1 0. So it's looking good for Jamshed Poor, except he's going to go for goal here, and it swerved, and Rehenish dealt with it in an uncomfortable fashion. Welcome back to the second half of match 38 in the Hero Indian Super League. And that man there, Stephen Eze, has uh, got the one goal of the contest so far here in Tilak, in the uh, Tilak Maiden Stadium in Vasco da Gama. Give me a long-range try here. Well, uh, an early effort from uh, Brandon. I think he was a good 30 yards, if not 35 out there. Yeah, well, let's see what this goal side's made of, and let's see what Brando is made of. Ball on the outside. Chipped in here, first time, just a bit too much on it, but the opportunity is still there. Has he taken too long? What a fine save that is. Otherwise, Ali Kett was on a score sheet for the second consecutive game in this uh, stadium. But how many touches did he want, John? I mean, he could have buried that and could have smashed it earlier. Lovely work from Isaac and Jackie, who floats it in. He could have done it there, he could have done it there. Finally gets it out of his feet. Good save in the end from... Now as in goal, and that's what a pair of hands can do. What's here? What's here? Oh, he nearly pulled him back. This is a big, big moment in the game. It's a chance for FC Go to hit back. He's blown it over the top of the bar from Angulo. Just as we fancied Valskis at the other end, so you would have said nine out of ten Angulo would have scored there. A powerful forward run here from Donaghy. And Donaghy goes on into the area. He's down. Penalty kick. Donaghy taken down, and absolutely no doubt in the mind of the referee that Alex has uh, conceded a penalty here and handed Goa the opportunity to draw level. And Gula does the job. Calmly taken by the Spaniard. It's goal number seven for him now. He's now scored against five different opponents in FC Goa's eight games. First penalty he's ever converted here in India. Now let's see what this Jamshed poor side's made of. Oh, that's a lovely ball, and he'll be into the area here. It could uh, be a leading goal now. It's blocked by Hartley, and will spin away, and Rehenish will gather this time. But Ortiz was in the perfect position for the shot. It's all go, isn't it? It's all go, and it's all tempo as well, and it's all from Goa at the moment. And Valskis. Off the crossbar, keeper dived across. I thought initially it was going to go over the top of the bar. We have still not seen a goal scored direct from a free kick in the Hero Indian Super League 7. But that's as good as a free kick as we've seen uh, from Valskis. They're trying again here. Oh. Eze only needed a touch. 
and the lead would have been restored. What a chance that is. What a chance for Eze. Edward here, it's a bit flat, I would have said that, but it might break the edge of confusion almost between Eze and Hartley. It was after you, Claude. Unbelievable. It just wouldn't fall for them, would it? I mean, that's un unbelievable. There's an enthralling encounter coming up between uh, SC East Bengal and Chennai. Here is Alex Lima! It's off the bar, off the underneath of the bar. A big question mark as to whether that ball had crossed the line or not. The officials have said no, it did not. Well, I said there might be a sting in the tail, and uh, it was almost provided by Alex. Oh, that is a goal. That is a goal. And this will show you here, look, the full ball crossed the line. That's a poor decision from the officials. That's what they're aiming for here. Ball in, dangerous, Len. Len Dungel gets on the end of things. He's not the tallest, but he's uh, got good positional sense. That's a free header for Lenny, John. Totally enjoyable contest. And it's one. FC Gora have snatched it. Can you believe it? Angulo has got on the end of the corner kick and they have snatched victory from the jaws of defeat. And he knows the way to that net. It's goal number eight of Angulo's season. And uh, Owen Coyle is crestfallen. Valskis lurking, hoping. And it's into the right zone. The referee's whistle will go now, though. They left it late. But FC Goa have snatched the spoils here, having lost their last two vic uh, matches. They've come out victorious here tonight in Vasco to shatter Owen Coyle's hopes. That man, Igor Angulo, has stolen the show.